our little girls' night fun little call. And normally, like, every time we get on these calls, we're always doing a crazy training. Like, learn how to do this, learn how to do that, learn how to do this, learn how to do that. And so I thought tonight we would take a more laid back approach. And that's why I told everybody, like, grab your food, grab your wine, grab your coffee, shake, water, whatever you want to grab. I actually just fixed myself a little, um, I say little, but it's kind of giant, glass of wine myself. Um, I don't buy like the big bottles anymore because I end up just pouring them out. So I get like the little, um, you know what I'm talking about, like the little bottles, like the little twist bottles of wine because I end up just like wasting them because I don't um, drink that much. But so um, anyways, I wanted to uh, talk about the new year ahead. And the first thing I want to do is give you guys a few recognition before we move on. So I'm going to share my Facebook screen and I want to talk about a little bit. Um, let's see. Can you guys give me a thumbs up if you can see my Facebook? Awesome. Great. Let's see. Crap. My computer is acting weird. This is actually my school computer that I'm going to have to turn in since I um, officially resigned from my teaching job yesterday. I walked into that office like a boss. Like I was kind of shaking, which is stupid because I do well with coaching, but it's kind of like giving up something that you, I literally put four years of undergrad, two years to get my master's and was working on my PhD, you know? So it's kind of crazy to walk in there. And when I walked in there, the secretary was laughing because she's like, make sure when you sign out at the end of the year, we're going to need your computer, your iPad, your iPad mini, and, um, you know, your laptop. And I was like, crap, like I'm going to have no electronics and I'm going to need a new computer. Um, so if you know where I can get like a good computer, let me know. <laughs> um, all right. So, okay, let's see. Okay. So right here is where we welcome new coaches um, into our downline. So I wanted to give a couple of shout outs to Carrie Steelman for signing two coaches this week. Jill Wagner, she's not in our coach group, but she's actually on our right leg, which is under um, – our right leg, which is under Michelle Katz's side, and under Heather Swin, Heather, you are on my right side, yes. Um, so when you see Jill Wagner adding coaches, she's actually adding coaches on that side too, so that benefits you guys. Um, and myself, I think I added three coaches, but I'm seeing two, so yay guys for that. And every week, um, I wanted to show you guys what this means. So I'm not sure if you guys know what weak leg volume, like what does that mean? Does anybody know? I'm going to go into teacher mode, but can anybody unmute themselves? Like honestly, do you like have no idea what that means? Like just raise your hand if you have no idea what that means. When I post the weak leg volume. Are you guys all know what it means? Like don't be scared. Okay. So the weak leg volume means is that you have um, – like I am building the right side pretty strong right now, who's ever over there. Carrie Steelman is on the other side. So if you're on my other side, which would be um, like Katie Dendron, I haven't been, or Katie Marie, I haven't been putting a lot of coaches over there, but you don't really need to worry about that because you have Carrie adding millions of coaches over there. So that's your strong side. So basically what this means is, is if you look at this, um, my cycling is way down. I'm in the thousand club, so I'm cycling at about 1174 right now. Last year, um, I was around 2000, so my cycling has fell off because you're going to have key players um, in your team. Actually, my people that were above me that stopped working the business hardcore, um, they weren't adding as many coaches. So I was kind of becoming the um, leader on that side, adding tons of coaches. And basically what that means is, is I have cycled um, 11 times, actually 22 times times 18. So without any sales – whatever, um, 11, cause I'm a diamond coach. So 11 times 18. No, it's not. It's 22 times 18, 22 times 18 is $396 of this week of residual income. Plus I get all the different bonuses and stuff. So that, so if you're looking to see, um, 
how to make money in this business because you want to build your weak leg. Okay. And then when you add a spouse into the mix and a second business center, not only does your weak leg volume happen, but you can also double and triple dip. So I double dip off my second business center, so I multiply that by two and my husband, plus sales, plus all that stuff. So you really want to get on this board. So I wanted to give a shout out to Katie. Katie Gender and a shout out. Heather Swindell, you cycled this week. Congratulations with that residual income. Basically, that means you've done nothing and you've made some money. So yay, not nothing, but you're kind of being compensated for working out and being an awesome leader. Um, and, and maybe you didn't sell anything, but you get paid. So yes. Um, Carrie Steelman, Jill Wagner. Um, let's see who else is. Uh, let's see. And then we have Craig Schmidt. So that's pretty awesome to see your name on there. And then we have... Success Club points, I don't know where they are on here, but I know off the top of my head um, that myself, right now I have 16. Um, we have, let me try to see if I can do this from memory, just from, um, I'm saying I'm a lot, sorry. I'm working on that. From memory, I know I have 16. I know Carrie Steelman, I believe she has 12. Jamie is holding at three or four. Uh, Jacqueline Finney, who is new to us, so say hey to Jacqueline, everyone. She has two points and assigned her first coach. So she's halfway to Emerald. So yay, awesome. Um, we also have Shanice White, who is a new Emerald today. She is actually one of my sister's personally sponsored coaches. But I recruited her because she is on our right leg and kind of um, brought her to join us in our journey. And let's see, I know I'm leaving off a bunch of more people, but the people that are on the call right now, I also wanted to congratulate, um, what'd you say? I should have one or two. I still have Shake Allergy in you have, you have two. I think you have two. And I, I think they actually gave you, I need to look at it later, but I think that they gave you a customer for being Emerald that bought Shakeology. So I need to check that because I saw another order under you unless you sold a challenge pack. Um, well Lauren Kushark bought a bag okay. of shit. Okay, so you have two points for that. And then, um, all right, so I wanted to congratulate um, Heather Swindell for starting a new job, getting out of her comfort zone, applying for a new job that she got. She rescued a cat, um, brought in a cat into her home, which is absolutely amazing. She's building a new house. And when, when I think about Heather, like it just, it warms my heart because, um, when I see her go, going forward every day and, um, you guys didn't know Heather when I first met Heather, but she has made leaps and bounds and, um, it's just such a huge inspiration. So I just wanted to give you a shout out and I get really emotional because some of you guys really have made emotional. Me and I absolutely love you, Heather. Um, it's absolutely amazing for what you have accomplished. Um, it's just amazing. And I wanted to give a shout out to Katie uh, Marie, who is teaching um, Bonka classes, which I always say wrong, at her local gym. She is consistently working out, showing up every day, bringing guests to Super Saturday, which is amazing. You guys don't understand. Like when I met Katie, she was like, I won't coach ever. I will never do your stinking stupid DVD workout. I'm <laughs> going to be a good coach. So stop messaging me. And I'm like, you will be a coach. All right. People love it. <laughs> I don't ran away. <laughs> is, that so, is that not so true, Katie? Oh, she went on mute again. No, no, no. I'm just outside because my dog is outside. Um, and I no, um, no, it's completely true. And I'm actually doing another certification this weekend. Yay. Congratulations. That's I awesome. Just, I just subbed a women's on weight class tonight. Wow. <laughs> I know. It's crazy because I never thought I would ever do any of this. Exactly. That's awesome. And Katie's lost like over a hundred and something pounds, right? Is that am I saying too much? Like 70 pounds? 75. 75. Seventy-five. If you lose seventy-five, you might as well lose a hundred. Oh, okay. I mean, Sorry. that's like the same. Like that's amazing. Oh, and my then, God. Um, awesome. I want to give a huge shout out to Karen because Karen is one of the biggest supporters that we have um, on our team. She's always encouraging, posting, cheering people along. Is such an amazing, um, intelligent amazing woman that put so much insight in all the posts. Like I could say that I'm having the worst day and um, 
or do anything. And Karen always lifts my spirit. So thank you, Karen, um, is going to be on a call with me, myself and Michelle, I believe maybe next week or something. I, I see messages and I'm sorry if I don't respond right away, but I know there's something going on with that. So hopefully we will get on a personal call next week. Danielle Pacey, who has signed one or two coaches, one coach selling challenge packs left and right, going live, has an amazing selfie now with her camera up. So I'm loving seeing that every day and all your live videos. Um, Jacqueline, who's doing amazing, getting out of her comfort zone. She has those of you that don't know Jacqueline, it's JP Finn right here. She has um, a lot of people around here that are trying to break, drag her down, um, have tried to, I'm just going to always tell her business. She's going to like not be my friend after this. But she um, has some people that have been trying to bring her down or make her feel that she doesn't measure up. And I really have noticed you being unapologetically you, posting, sharing, and really um, going hard in your fitness journey. So congratulations to Jacqueline. Um, Kayla, um, my girl Kayla is amazing. You need to check um, Kayla Krim's Facebook page because in South Carolina, um, we one day, like literally guys, it's been 20 degrees and the next day it's 75. I know you're like, I hate you because I live in upstate New York. Some of you guys do because that's where I'm from, no, like negative 20. Yeah. But like literally, we it was like four degrees the other day and now it's 75. So she made this post where she was like, um, this weather's got me like, you know, and she's got a scarf on, but then she has shorts and a winter hat. She's wearing her vest. <laughs> it's hilarious. And I loved it. She is going really hard in her own fitness journey, has gone back to school um, to complete her degree, which is something that she always felt like she needed to complete. And the total confidence of doing that is amazing. Um, she, her son has some newfound um, um, different um, needs that he has been faced with, and she has a lot on her plate. And um, watching her every day, you know, guys, I may not comment on everything and I'm really blessed for the growth of our team, but I can tell you, I do see it. Um, and I'm cheering you guys on and doing the best I can since the interest groups went away on Facebook. I had you guys in this little list. I'm kind of struggling with my paper and pencil cause my kids steal my pencil and I don't know where anything is ever. So I'm doing the best I can, but I do, um, see you guys. Shanice White is, um, doing amazing. You guys don't know Shanice. She is um, in your downline, so so really, we um, she helps us build volume, and she is an amazing, amazing coach that has joined our coach group and is technically part of our team, even though she's not personally sponsored by anybody in this group, but she's in our downline. Um, she is doing the ultimate reset right now, which is like 20 million days of clean eating, drinking water, taking supplements. You, um, I've done it once and I literally, after like five days, like wanted to crawl in a hole and die because I shove like, I work out, um, and I eat healthy, but I also will shove like 50 goldfish, like Sour Patch Kids in my face on the regular. So I'm not going to lie, like probably once or twice a week, I'm like knee deep in ranch. So I don't know. I really commend you for doing this. Um, it is very hard to do. Um, she is adding, uh, she's a new Emerald. She has three coaches. Two weeks ago, she had no coaches, right? Pretty much no coaches. She is inviting, um, coming up with a schedule, making it happen. Um, so major congratulations to Shanice for killing it. I know this is taking forever, and I'm sorry. And then um, Leanne who is doing her coffee talk, which is awesome on Wednesdays. I love her coffee talk. It's just consistently on Wednesdays talking about um, just things that are going on in life. And um, she's a huge breath of fresh air, uh, loves yoga, is a busy mom, uh, working busy mom, has a, I think he's three. I don't know how old he is, but has a three-year-old son and a three. three. Hopefully your husband's yeah. probably like listening in, but I'm like a demanding husband. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know. If he's uh, okay. Um, <laughs> he's probably like, what? How does she know? No, she never even met his husband. But um, she is like super busy and we're always on calls together. We have a standing call on Wednesday. So um, just working through uh, a lot of objections that she's getting from people, staying strong with that million, getting a million no's, 
and um, just trying to stay the course, reading personal development and moving forward. So I really think, guys, that we are developing an amazing, strong team of like sisterhood and like love and major growth that is moving forward here. Um, if we were just going out to sell like wraps or fat burners, I think, you know what, we probably could sell some shit pretty fast, excuse my language, but are we going to build long-term debt in a business? Because when you have a shallow organization, guys, it means you just have like a couple people, you make like 20 bucks and it's good and it's over. It's kind of like if you sell somebody a cake, they eat it and then it's gone. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're trying to, we're trying to instill in people those, um, those healthy eating tips, those we're building those relationships, we're building a team, we're working out and we're, we're doing all these things. And like, I remember when I talked to Pat two years ago, he told me, he's like, if you just stay the course and you do this, it's all, you know, you keep being consistent and you invite people. And I thought to myself, honestly, guys, if you're sitting there right now and you're thinking that's like complete BS because that's never going to happen for me, I was sitting there and I was like, there has to be something wrong with me to show up every single day, post on my Facebook wall, work out every single day. It took me seven months, guys, to sell my first challenge pack. I had no sales at all. I had nothing and I showed up every single day and eventually as I worked on me because when I first started, I, I didn't even realize it, but I was depressed. Now I realize it, but I would have never admitted it to you then. I always said, well, you know what? That girl, like she doesn't get me. Like she doesn't know my life. Like I'm really busy and I have kids and you know, my marriage was actually falling apart on the side. So I had an excuse of that. And, um, I said that really loud. My husband's gonna be like, what? You told people. But, um, and there was all this stuff going on. So I always thought that that was like the reason. So I had to really start working on myself. I had to start reading personal development. And just because I'm reading Girl Boss, guys, doesn't mean you need to read Girl Boss. If you're feeling like it's hard for you to put yourself out there, or you're feeling like you need to build your confidence, or you're feeling like those things, those are the kind of books you need to be reading and helping yourself grow. So um, I started reading the Unapologetically You book, which is really awesome. That has a lot to do with like personal and self growth. But I'm also reading a book right now called Seller Be Sold because I am um, sick of getting so many no's. So every time I get a no, I'm starting to research like what would, what could I say better or what could I do better because I'm becoming a, um, if you're in my tough love group, I'm doing this um, group right now and I said I'm becoming a master ninja of knowing, I was kind of crazy the other morning, I was like, I'm becoming a ninja warrior of mastering like when people say no, like I write it down and then I like research like anytime somebody tells me no and they say why, I write it down on a piece of paper and then I research in business books of how I could have better approached them and what I said to, you know, because most of the time they're saying no, not because they don't want to do it, maybe because I've approached them the wrong way or I've um, uh, invited them kind of weird or something like that. So I've really been like researching those things. So, um, you know, just working on those things where I, I really love Beachbody because I feel like it's different than any other thing out there because it encourages you to read a book. It encourages you to work on you. It encourages you to do all of those things to where um, other businesses really wouldn't, you know? So um, that's really awesome. So I didn't know if you ever like thought about that. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was a dream board. Da -da -da. Okay. I know you're probably like, gag me with a spoon. When is this call over? Right? Okay. So this is my dream board. And I'm encouraging you to make a dream board. Now, some people would disagree with a dream board because they think it's like, it's like stupid or something. I don't know. But I like a dream board and I think it's important. So, um, a couple of the things that I put on my dream board is I really, uh, and I'm encouraging you guys to make a dream board. And if you can, I would like us to share those on next week's call. So that's kind of your homework. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It can be small. Um, but I really would like you to make a dream board because I actually um, hang this like right here. 
So when I wake up in the morning, I have to have a talk with myself every morning, guys. Like I'm laying there in physical pain and I'm tired and I don't want to get up. Sometimes I even like get a tear because I'm tired. Like I don't want to get up. And I look at my little board and I'm like, you know, these are things that I want to do and I'm not going to be able to do them. And I know money's not everything, but I want to like give my kids like the best possible life and I want to be able to afford my choices. So I look at my stinking board and I get my butt out of bed, not because I want to work out because I have hopes and dreams, right? I mean, working out's great guys, but like, seriously, come on. Like some days like, ugh. um, unless you guys just super love it, but I'm in a struggle like 80% of the time. Um, but some of the things I put on my dream board is I would love to um, not be a t like not be a teacher and like I don't want to dye my hair all colors, but I'd love to have like a couple strands that were like different, you know. Like I think that'd be cool, but I can't do that because what what you can't do that. I live in South Carolina. If I said like G D, which is G O D D A M, I would be like fired. I live in the Bible. Um, but I mean I'm from New York, so like I'm kind of displaced. Um, and then I always thought this girl was cute, not like that, but she's just like eating pizza, just kind of like, cause she's kind of naked, but she's not showing anything. So I'm like, how fun would that be to get to the point where you could just like, not where other people are around, but be on one of these fabulous trips and just like eat a huge freaking pizza and not even worry about what you're going to wear. So that's on there. And then I put travel crystal chandelier, um, just like a lot of things like family, um, ocean, um, being able to see my family more, being able to travel. Um, you know, when I first had kids, guys, and I was a teacher, and my husband was starting out in his career at the, his law, the law office he works at, like, I couldn't even afford to go see my parents. Like, I had two kids, and there was, like, two years where I didn't even go home, you know? And I wasn't going to – like, my dad, I mean, if I was like, Dad, I want to come home, he'd fly me home in a second. But when you're in your early 30s and you need to ask your dad to fly you places, it's kind of like you're admitting that you're – like, you don't have any money, so it gets weird. So you'd rather just, like, make up excuses. So I was in that for a while. Um, and I really want a bike. Like, I don't have a bike. Do you guys have bikes? A bike? I don't have a bike. Like, I want a bike. I have a bike. It's from Walmart. If you ever want to buy me something, get me a bike. No. But just, like, all these, like, big things, like travel, go to the beach, things like that. Um, quit my teaching job, which was a huge um, dream for me. Uh, I called my mom and I was like, I'm selling all my stuff. I'm or actually buying a house in like 10 months. We're moving. I'm going to sell all my stuff, buy a house and quit my teaching job. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> she thought I was having like a midlife crisis. Um, so I wanted to go around really quick and um, let me see what happened. Okay. I wanted to go around really quick and I want you to tell me one of your dreams for the new year and how you're going to get there like how like like a business kind of dream and how you're going to get there so my dream for the new year would be to be a five-star diamond coach um by uh, obviously I'm, I'm going to rank advance my second business center my husband and then like heather jeep me <laughs> is going to get to diamond then there's five no um or Katie, but you're on the other side, so I don't put too much pressure on you yet. Um, so my dream would be this year would be rank advancing to five star and um, taking two days a week where I don't log into the computer at all. Like I don't even like have like log into the computer at all. Two days a week. I mean, there's seven days. I could pick two days to like not be online. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to stay consistent. I'm going to stay true to myself. And um, I'm going to be unapologetically me because that's how it works better, right? So um, I'm going to start with Heather, and you can tell me what your dreams are. I guess it could be business or personal for the new year, like whatever your dream is. I mean, I can't tell you what your dream is and how um, you're going to get there. Uh, hey. Um, so all that stuff you, like, listed off that's going on, like, my whole world's been turned upside down. So, like, my main goal by the end of January is to have, like, some form of business hours, some form of business hours set up in the evening, Monday through Friday, so I can actually sit down and do invites. So I'm in a cramped apartment. My husband likes to chat. It's hard. <laughs> Once you stop talking back, they eventually they stop talking. No, I'm just kidding. Well, that's the thing. Like, I'm just kidding. go ahead. 
we end up talking and it turns into like good conversation and then I'm like, oh, oh, I'm gonna go to bed. I mean, we, I mean, it's, it's good stuff, but, um, but yeah, and I want to be diamond by summit, but I have to like make those changes to make business hours to make time for this. And, um, I'm going to do that by making some damn time for it. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. And like, and, and you just got to do it. Like stop like thinking about it in your head and it's stressing you out, you know? So yeah. that's what happened. That, that part, like that part's kind of gone away a lot. You know, people about it, like I don't stress and get anxious about it anymore. It's like, I want to do it. I just have to find the freaking time to do it. Cause I think I can make it work from seven to eight thirty in the evenings, but I have to get everything straightened out with this new kitty and that's awesome. Well, you can do it. You can do it. You can. You don't even do an hour. You don't even need to do an hour. Do 15 minutes. Yeah. Do two invites. Start with two. You don't need to do 50. I'm doing 50 because I am freaking don't have another job now. Like, of course I got to do 50. Got a family. Like, I can't make $10. <laughs> I love my new job, though. You know? So if yeah. I had never met you, I would still be at my low lease three-day-a-week job, being abused, and all this stuff there, and now I have this wonderful job and all of these great things, and the most positive outlook on life that, I don't know where the hell it came from, but it's here, and I like it, and I want it to stick around, <laughs> so. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, you guys uh, don't know, Heather and I, we pretty much saved each other's life, so we have a... Um, a strong bond. Um, uh, awesome. Thanks for sharing, Heather. Uh, Katie. Katie's like always, like, Katie, what are you doing? Like walking around? Katie. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, my dog. She's just, she's crazy. She needs attention. And, um, okay. Hi, sorry. Yes, I'm always walking around playing with my dog during this time because I come home from him and she's like, feed me, love me, play with me. Um, dreams. Um, well, I've, I've done a couple already. Like, I've been doing this BOCA certification forever and I never actually thought I would ever actually get in front of a classroom and actually teach people. I just had this certification. But, like, I've already, like, I've been teaching since December. And then this weekend, or tonight, I subbed for my friend Kelly for a women's on weights class. And then this weekend, I'm doing a metabolic conditioning, like strength, like hit circuit training certification. So I never thought I would ever do any of these certifications. And I'm doing all kinds of certifications now. It's kind of crazy. It's awesome. And I brought a friend to Super Saturday. And I'm pretty sure by like the end of the month, she's going to be a discount coach. And then she'll see how cool we are and then want to do more with us. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. She's drinking Shakeology and she's a pyo instructor. She is already like pretty much beach body anyway. It's awesome. Being a fitness so, instructor is hard. I did yeah, it. So we'll see. So we'll see. And um, I don't know. I want to see Diamond by Summit, but you know, I'm, I'm, I suck at invites. You suck at invites <laughs> because you're not doing them. I'm so bad. I'm but so you bad. started doing them. That's why I have you in tough love. I know. I know. But yes. you know what, Katie, we, we all, it's, it, there's no race. There's no, like, it's not a race and you've, you've grown so much and it's, it's not about like, you can be a successful beach body coach and you don't have to have diamonds or stars or any of this stuff. That doesn't mean, that doesn't make you successful. Like you can have all the star diamonds and all that stuff, but you know, like if you're empty, like you got to fill yourself up first and then, you know, like move to be able to help others. I really believe in that. So like, don't get yourself down. Like you don't suck at invites. You're good at invites. You're starting, you're, you're starting to do them. You're coming out of your shell and like, you need to be proud of that. So don't suffer, second guess yourself. Cause you know, girl, I will tell you. <laughs> I, I just think it's really weird because in person I'm completely fine. I will talk to anybody, but through text, I feel like, I feel like I'm like plenty of fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of fish for beach body. <laughs> I always tell people that too. I'm like, and if this is super weird because you don't know me, like we could just talk on the phone and they were like, okay. 
but I got, it took me like a year and a half. I mean, I got to a star diamond rank, but never talking to anybody on the phone because I was super creeped out by it. No, I'll, I can talk to people on the phone. I'll talk to people on the phone. Yeah. And- so just do that. Like you could totally do that. Um, Strangers, all right. just go through the white place. <laughs> um. All right. We have seven minutes, so I'm gonna give you that tax. Um. All right. Uh, Kayla, I sneak attacked you. You were at the bottom. Oh wait. Let me get you off mute. I'm sorry. We'll have to speed it up, though. Yeah. I I talk too long. We only have a couple minutes. Okay, going so fast. By the end of the year, I want to have five people that know how to sponsor people. Nice. How are you going to do that, Kayla? I'm going to learn how to sponsor people. And And then I'm going to show up, be consistent, follow the vital behaviors. I'm going to invite every day, go for no, read personal development. Um, Yeah. So, Nice. Nice. And just start inviting people, guys. Like, I'm like, hey, how have you, how's it been? This is what I do. Like, it's so awkward. I'm like, hey, how's it been going? Like, super cute picture of your dog today on your Facebook wall. I don't know if you ever considered doing what I'm doing, but I'm starting a coach internship on the 14th. Would you like me to add you? Like, I'm not coming up with, like, a cool sentence. Like, it's kind of just like that. And then they say, yeah, because they don't want to say no, because most people don't want to say no, because they're, they feel bad. And then they join it, and then they still say no. But I add like 10 and one joins. <laughs> so it's kind of how it goes. So awesome, Kayla. Uh, Jacqueline. Let me get you off mute. There we go. I got it. Go. <laughs> Can't figure this thing out. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Getting more people. I, I, I want to get the emeralds soon. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And um, how are you going to get there? <laughs> well, my mom wants to sign up, so that's a start. Well, there you go. Your husband's on the other side. <laughs> no, I really want to um, build this. So I, you know, I'm a, for those of you that don't know, I'll be really quick, but I'm a nanny um, of three kids, and I take my son, my 11th, 11-month-old son with me. And I want to get to the point where I can actually like back down and not have to worry about I have an X amount of hours that I have to have every week with them. So I want to be able to build. I, I, I need to write it down on paper. Yeah, you need to write it on paper and you need to make a board because when you write it down and you really like, you know, that family's working for guys. She like pretty much is raising this other um, family's kids. And um, it's a great job, but it's tiring and long hours. And, like, you could totally do this. You're on a strong team. And, like, you know, I'm rooting for you. And, like, we, we've been working a lot one-on-one. She's, she lives in my neighborhood. So um, we can definitely – like, you can definitely do it. And you've made amazing gains in the past few weeks. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, um, Karen. I'm a little slow out the gate. I am one of those perfectionists that like wants to learn everything first. So I know what to say to people. So I've watched like a million videos, <clears throat> five star diamonds and all that, and uh, three star diamonds and I don't know, just watching everybody's posts. I don't know how you guys keep up with all the notifications. To like, I wanna. I don't. I I ignore them. Yeah. I I it stresses me out. I can't take it, so I go to the gr- I go I go in the groups and I just look what's going on in the group and then I comment. I go into the group. I don't look at the notifications. Yeah, I should do that. Yeah. Um, but so <clears throat> I need to get on the ball and get inviting. Um, yeah. I think that's I. I had some injuries, so I'm I'm working to get through myself through the programs first. Um, I used to be an athlete, and so. I need to get back. I want to get back. That's my goal is to get back to um, a physical state where I can be inspiring to others and, uh, <clears throat> you know, get through the programs and that's that. Yeah. Um, I think that, I think that's great. And um, thanks for sharing that. And I, and I don't always want you guys to think like I listen and then I like think of something to like, like say it like against or whatever. But um, the biggest thing that I ever learned, I remember Sean T told me, he was like, um, knowledge isn't power, action is power. And um, the journey is like now, I remember when he said that in one of his cinema- seminars, 
Like I didn't, I didn't personally build this whole thing when I was super fit or knew what I was doing. I know what I'm doing now, but I didn't know what I was doing when I did it, which is totally weird. Does that make sense? I just did it. And um, don't self-doubt yourself. Um, um, you're amazing. I know that it's always hard to our own. Like I have a poor self, like self-awareness. I really, I have a terrible self-awareness, terrible self-awareness. Um, but um, you're doing really good, and I think you just need to go for it. I really think you just need to go for it. So um, just keep going and uh, let us know what you need help with. Thanks. Can I just shout out one real quick thing, too? Yeah. Lena is so zen. If you're ever stressed out, it's great to listen to her coffee shop and just get in there with her yoga and stuff. She's really good. Yeah. Thanks for that, lady. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, definitely going to get on that. Um, all right. So, Lena, um, I know it's going to cut us off. I'm super sorry. Um, Lena, and then I always call her Leanne. She's probably like, no, you guys don't know my name, right? No, it's okay. <laughs> um, so, Lena, you want to go ahead? Sure. I just, um, I think one of my goals is I just want to say, Oh, challenge pack. <laughs> That's like one of my biggest things right now is if I could just get that one person to say yes. I think I'll be like the happiest person in the world. Um, like you need a confidence booster. I just want to be emerald. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going emerald either. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get, you'll get there. It's like, yeah, like I sometimes do. you just need that like confidence booster. Like in December, I literally invited like 2000 people and like no one said yes. Cause it was like the worst month of the fitness court. I just needed that confidence booster. So you'll get it, you know, you're, you're going to do it. So I'm, I'm cheering for you. You're definitely going to do it. Um, um, I am getting, I'm trying, I'm trying to be more consistent. So I think that's going to help me out. Um, can you hear me? Okay. I can and hear you. I'm going to, um, I need to start stepping out on my uh, Facebook, my personal Facebook page more. You fly, mommy. Yes. That's one of my big goals. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure I can still hear you. No, Sorry, you're, you can't see. I'm in. There we are. You're good. If it um, clicks us, if it clicks, then, if it clicks us off, guys, if you can click right back on. I got I don't want to. I want to get on these calls. Or that's another thing. Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, I'm happy that I, I can't. It's okay. I'm happy you're on. This is your first one. I've really seen you on our Thursday night call. So I welcome you.